reactor. Thought we'd be stopped dead. At least stuck at impulse power. The Takan enhancements must be able to brute force limited bursts of warp output. Yeah, but they won't get to wherever they were headed at this rate. They're just limping along now. So where does that put us? Maybe I can answer that. Find a working console. I got the ship's heading. They've changed course. Drastically. Looks like they're headed here. The Usonia system. They might stop there. Can we use the Zeldi's comms to signal your fleet? Our comm systems are locked. Grab hold! Okei, eli se ottaa rakennevaurioon joka kerran, kun ne hyppää. Your people. Is there somewhere you go when you die? Life after death? No. On my home world, some people think they can cheat death in a way by joining with the Trill Symbiont. But that's not a life to me. Hmm. What about you? Is there another plane of existence for you? I believe there's an afterlife. You do? Yeah. Then you should understand this. My people have a special journey. When Alidians die, we rejoin our comrades, family, and ancestors. On the parade grounds of Cirella? That is just one part of it, but yes. Death is not the end for us. So, even if some part of Itasca remains, by letting the Takan use her body, at best we are delaying the inevitable next step for her. At worst, we are leaving her as a prisoner in her own mind. You want to save the transformed. So do I. Now that I've seen it happen, does it make me a hypocrite to say he has a point? What if we can't get them back? We can't leave them like that, right? I think Itasca would want to be released. I know it's awful to think about, but if they're still alive, we can still try to help them. We lose that option once they're dead. I had a sister. A twin. It's very rare among the true. You never told me that. She was one of the youngest hosts to ever join with the symbiont. Uh. A creature that lives in our body. It's uh. considered a great honor. The symbiont can bring centuries of knowledge and wisdom to the host. But sometimes the symbiont personality suppresses the host. Tota ei ilmeisesti hirveä usein tapahdu, koska ne valikoidaan niin hyvin. I knew she would be different after joining. But she drew more and more distant. The room we shared growing up was foreign. To the both of us. And eventually she, or whoever she'd become, cut me out entirely. So I left the Starfleet and swore I'd never go back. I couldn't stand the thought of seeing her. Someone who looked like my sister. Sounded like her. So, losing Miranda like this, it opened an old wound. Never really closed up in the first place. You remind me of Itasca. I do. 
Bonds are not made by what runs through your veins, but the blood you spilled together. Itasca was my family in that way. I want you to know there is nothing I won't sacrifice to win this fight. But if we're lucky enough to survive, I'd be honored if you'd count me as one of your tribe. As Itasca was. Even a couple of engineers like us? <laughs> I'll take you up on that. Okay. Now I'm born down. Born down, that's it. Will they not cease this madness? Hmm. Mielenki tu sunne kuin asteroidi. Is that the Veskar? Another one of yours? Not anymore. They've corrupted it, just like the Zeldi. Now there are two ships. Did this just get better, or worse? It certainly doesn't bode well for the crew of the Veskar. So many lives stolen. It's worse. Yeah. This is definitely worse. Thanks. That really helps. This doesn't look like the Ophelia. What are they doing here? You don't think they're just meeting their buddies? Maybe, but then why are their buddies here? The storm. It's back. What happened? Hold on. Scanning. Tetrametric radiation is dropping. The Zeldi's dropped to minimal power levels. It's running off just the one warp core now. That means they've sent the Cartabula to that other ship. Mutinion to resolute. Something wrong, Captain? No, nothing's wrong. In fact, I was just going to call for you. I'm needed down in engineering. The bridge is yours. Mettiin hetken aikaa. Petrausian vai? Commander Westbrook, a word please. I'm busy here, so let's make it quick. What's this about? The captain may have been compromised. I have reason to believe he's been bioformed and is now actively working against us. Come on. You can't be serious. Someone is sabotaging the mission. They planted a Taconian device in engineering. Captain Solano was in engineering while we were on Delphi Ardu 4, and he purposely evaded Dr. Duval's bioscan. That's ridiculous. I just spoke with him a few minutes ago. He was as normal as ever. Now, if you'll excuse me, I have work to do. You don't understand. This is not a joke. I'm absolutely serious. If Captain Solano is a scion, it means he purposely evaded the bioscan to avoid detection. I'm sure he had more important things to do. Like what? <laughs> this isn't the first time you've trusted me. That consistency makes me want to believe you. If you go through with this, and you're right about Solano, you'll be the new captain of the Resolute. I hoped I would be captain someday. But I didn't want it to happen like this. I'll have your back, but you damn well better be right.
Entäs jos se ei olekaan toi? <laughs> Captain Solano. Commander Rydek, we need to talk about... Doctor? What brings you to the bridge? Just a bit of housekeeping. You owe me a bioscan, Captain. I don't have time for that right now. It will only take a moment. Okay, yeah. I, I can't put this off any longer. You can and you will. All you'll find is that I'm quite reasonably under stress given the circumstances, and you aren't making it better. I'll find you in sick bay when I'm good and ready. Or, if you're gonna stand in the way of the mission, I can find you in the brig instead. It's merely protocol, Captain. All officers that touch alien soil have to be bioscanned. I know the protocol. It's not more important than chasing down these Taconian marauders. The crew looks to you for guidance, Captain. It may okay, seem like okay. a nuisance, but it would set the right example. What is this? We need you to comply with the scan, Captain. That's enough. Drop this. All of you. I'm giving you a direct order, Commander Rydek. Stand down and go back to your post. Now. Do not make me tell you again. I've been a starship captain since before you were in the Academy. I won't stand for this. I refuse. So do the others. Well then, you left me no choice. Security to the bridge. Arrest Commander Ryder. Take her to the brig. On what charge? Conspiring with the enemy and mutiny. Captain, please reconsider. I've given my order. This is not Captain Solano. He's been bioformed. He's a scion. You're out of your mind. Commander Rydek has proof. He sabotaged our efforts to track Galvin with this. He planted it in engineering while we were down on Delphi Ardu 4. Lies! Perpetrated by the only Chakan in our midst, Portal 6-3. He's actively trying to divide us from within. Captain Solano has refused to be bioscanned because he knows it will reveal he's a scion. Take her to the brig, or I'll do it myself. Oh. Oh. <laughs> Wait, stand down. That's an order. What is the meaning of this? Everyone hold until we get answers. This cannot happen on the bridge of a Federation starship. He's a scion. You have to believe me. That's not Captain Solano, as much as you'd like to think it is. If you're wrong, there's no coming back from this. <laughs> I'm going to settle this once and for all. Nyt, nyt on, onko se oikeesti? Vai eikö se ole? Jos se on pelisuunnittelija tehty sillä, että se riippuu jostain valinnasta. Että se voi käydä aika hassusti. Commander Rydek was right. Captain Solano has been compromised. He's been bioformed into a Takan. That's doctor on uh, assimilated as a fake fake stone. I'm relieving Captain Zachary Solano of command. Take him to the brig. I don't know what to say. I'm stunned. We all are. Well, there's no going back now. You are, rightfully, the captain of the Resident. And I'm with you from here on out. I need you to know that. I'm 
Unfortunately, we lost one of the best captains in Starfleet. You know how much I admire Captain Solano. Can't even imagine how much I'll miss him. But what's done, he's done. Yes, they do. Go. Aika hyvin ohjattu, niin... Se voi olla vähän ehkä iso juttu istua toisen, toisen henkilön palleille. It's time to face Galvin. Yes, Commander. Sorry. Captain. On your command. Engage. Niin kuin alussa valittiin, että mitä sanaa tää käyttää niinku... <laughs> Komennosta. Plus näyttää olevan kunnossa. With the algorithms compromised, they may not do much. Captain, that other Elidian ship is here. The Zeldi? We're outnumbered. Captain, your orders. Return fire on the Zeldi. Returning fire. No effect. Their shields are holding. The Veskar's warp engines are powering up. Oh no. Our warp engines are offline. That must have been their goal. They didn't want us to chase the Veskar. According to my readings, they also took the Cartabula with them. They're not breaking off. We have to destroy the Zeldi before it destroys us. Diaz and Edsalar still over there? They'll need to evacuate. They gotta know we're here. Hurry. You got it? Got it. Diaz to Resolute. We read you, Diaz. This is Ermot. It's good to hear your voice. Is Edsalar? Is she with you? Everyone wants to know. Are you kidding me? I couldn't get rid of her. <laughs> I don't doubt that, Lady Officer. Get us out of here? I can't transport you out while the Zeldi's shields are up. Our phaser fire won't even get through. Is there another way off that ship? We'll find a way. Whatever you do, you'll have to be quick about it. Because we can't give you much more time. We can't let up fire on the Zeldi. Understood. Diaz out. We're gonna have to get out of here the old-fashioned way. Lydian ships have no escape pod. Mixy. We can leave out that cargo bay we transported you before. But then there's the vacuum of space to contend with. Those freight containers. Maybe we could use those to make an escape pod? Is that even possible? We're gonna make it possible. Unless you have a better idea. Let's go. I've polarized the hull plating. That should allow us to take a few more hits. Tota ei ole käytetty kahteistaan vuoteen tuota puolustustapaa. Zeldi, in range! Fire! 
Okay. Zelda shields down to 82%. We'll run out of hull before we penetrate their shields. Perhaps I can be of assistance. I can modify your impulse engines to amplify their meager output and avoid more of their attacks. But I will need full access to your propulsion systems. That goes against dozens of Starfleet regulations. It's not a security risk if the alternative is destruction. To me, it's simple. You can take this people and hope you can weather it. Or will you put your trust in me? I've left everything behind for you. The least you can do is put your faith in me. Commander Ermot, give Bortle access to the propulsion systems. You're going to have the ship in your hands. Don't let me down. This will take a moment. Päivityksiä. Kellukentät pysyy juuri ja juuri niin kuin. Jaha. Juuri ja juuri mukana pysyy kellukenttä. Your ship has let up its fire. That gives us some time. All right. One well, of these freight containers should do the trick. Be quick. We need one big enough for all of us to fit inside. Something we can make airtight. Damn it. We go. Not this one. This will work. That's great, but it's not airtight yet. No problem. We'll just seal it up. This container is extremely heavy. Even with the containment field open, it won't leave the bay quickly. I'll find something to accelerate our exit. Why is it that that's a pretty simple thing for me? For me, Nick, that's a good one. Glancing blow, very little damage. I cannot keep this up for long. Their phaser banks are recharging. Now's our window. We have to strike back. I agree. Their next barrage could be our last. Better make this count. Target their weapon systems. Take the teeth out of their bite. That could make them run. Just like the Beskar, we'd lose Diaz and Edzilar again. Hit their engines. We've already lost the Beskar. We need to protect ourselves first. Target their propulsion systems. I don't want them going anywhere. Targeting their engines. These will give us the push we need. Bombia. Those are explosives. We'll ride the blast right out of here. Well, those are the ones. I'll set the containment field to deactivate, and then run back. We can detonate by remote. We'll need to seal the doors from inside the container once we do. Before all the air sucks out of the cargo bay. Can we really leave her? 
She can figure her own way out of this. This ship can't fly. Sidron set it to self-destruct. Please, Amenta. Oh. <laughs> it's not her. No. I know it's not. Carter, we have to seal the doors. Don't leave me! If this line goes off the ship before Sidron pulls it all to hell. Go. Kovia, kovia, tota noin niinku ratkaisuja. That's a lot of resolute. I have the away team. Go ahead. We're about to exit. We see the cargo bay containment field is deactivated. Get that tractor beam ready. And you should know, the Zeldi is set to self-destruct. If we do enough damage to this LD first, it'll prevent the self-destruct sequence from completing. We can't wait any longer. We have to fire. Captain, they're almost out of there. We need to act fast. Hold all fire. Get out of there, Petty Officer. Do it now. You heard her. Done. Ready? Detonate! Sensors. Tractor beam activated. Locked on and ready to fire. Fire! a transporter signal to the planetoid moments before the Zeldi detonated. Sidron. There's a Tacon structure there. It's the reason they were here. It's the reason we are here. Now. I have to see it for myself. We'll go there together. I had assumed as much. Is this the Takana arsenal Galvin was after? Legend says this region once held the sacred mysteries of the Takana Empire. Our greatest treasure. Our most fearsome technology. I want a full security detail. Westbrook, Redrosian, you're with me. Mr. Ermont, you have the con. Wait. <clears throat> You're not the first officer anymore. The captain is supposed to stay with the ship. I'm surprised Lieutenant Bedrosian didn't raise that first. I thought Captain Rydek knew what she was doing. That's the protocol. But it's also a captain's prerogative to break that protocol. I suppose it is. We'll deal with the first officer vacancy when we return. Until then, Mr. Ermont? Yes, Captain. Oh, 